It's the magic of math here, and today we're comparing linear functions using unit rate and one-time fee. Here's our question today. Susan wants to hire one of two mechanics to repair her car. Each mechanic charges a one-time fee in addition to an hourly rate. Mechanic A charges a one-time fee plus $35 per hour. A repair made by Mechanic A that takes five hours to complete will cost a total of $225. This table shows the total cost, including the one-time fee, for repairs made by Mechanic B that take different numbers of hours to complete. And here's your table. Now we're asked, how much more money in dollars does Mechanic A charge for the one-time fee than Mechanic B charges? I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, do your best work, and then come back to check your solution. Welcome back. So we're finding how much more Mechanic A charges for the one-time fee than Mechanic B. So we have Mechanic A and Mechanic B. So let's start with Mechanic A. Mechanic A is going to charge a one-time fee plus $35 per hour. The repair made that Mechanic A made was five hours to complete. So they did five hours at $35 per hour. So let's calculate that. Five times 35 is going to be $175. Now we know that the total amount of money paid was 225. And how much they made per hour, 35 times five, 175. So if we subtract these two values, that will give us our one-time fee. So 225 subtract the 175 for the five hours worth of work is $50. So now we can say that Mechanic A has a one-time fee of $50, then plus five hours at $35 per hour for a total of 225. So again, what this means is the mechanic is gonna charge you a flat fee of $50 just for looking at the car and then in addition to that $50 fee, they're going to charge you $35 per hour of work. Now let's look at Mechanic B. Mechanic B, right here, we're going to put our 50 there, come up to Mechanic B, and Mechanic B is in the table. So we see that for one hour of work, the customer had to pay a total cost of $80. So this includes the one-time fee and one hour of work. So now let's see what happens as we increase an hour. So when we go from one hour to two hours of work, we're gonna go from 80 to 120, which is an increase of $40. And we can see that from 120 to 160, we're increasing $40, add another hour, $40, add another hour, $40, and again, another hour, $40. So you can see that we're consistently adding $40 per hour. So we know that their hourly fee is $40 per hour. Now, if we go backwards in this, right, we go in the opposite direction, we know that we're going to go up to zero hours. We're going to have to subtract 40 to go the reverse direction. 80 subtract 40 is 40. And that would be for zero amount of time. So that zero amount of hours means that their initial one-time fee is $40. So they charge $40 per hour and then $40 for their one-time fee. So $40 to look at the car, $40 per hour in addition to that. So now we can come down here and we know that our one-time fee for Mechanic B is $40. Our one-time fee for Mechanic A was 50. So here's our 40. So if we subtract these, we're gonna find out how much more Mechanic A charged than Mechanic B. And 50 subtract 40, is 10. So $10 is how much more Mechanic A charges for that one-time fee than Mechanic B. And there you have it. That is how we look at comparing linear functions using unit rates and one-time fees. I thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math today, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.